So we have covered what um, we have covered pretty much the history of information security. We now have an understanding of where the field was and where it is going to, where it is now and where it's going forward. Now the next thing is what is security? I mean, we're talking about computer security, information security. A simple definition of security will be just a state of being secure and free from danger or harm. This could be actions taken to make yourself um, more secure and free from danger. Could be actions taken for securing something. As such, it means organizations definitely need to secure their assets and whatever is vital to them. Just like Coca-Cola needs to secure their Coca-Cola recipe because it is the main basis of the entire company. Security organizations should have multiple layers <coughs> of security in place to protect its operations, physical, uh, physical infrastructure, people, functions, communications, slash information, etc., etc. Now, what this means is a lot of things come together to function together, to operate together, to, to achieve a single goal within an organization or multiple goals within an organization. There have to be people in place to be able to do certain tasks so something can happen. Each single thing that is vital needs to be secured. For the sake of this course, we are focused more around communications and information. However, an example of operations security will revolve around how to do something. How does Coca-Cola make Coke? That is an operational security. Physical security will revolve around securing the physical items that facilitate achieving the task, including the building itself, the offices, putting a lock on a door, ensuring that there is a guard, infrastructure, secure, physical infrastructure. Now, people security has to do with ensuring that people are safe if it's uh, they are out of danger. Functions, how does the organization operate and functions, it also need to be secured. We'll look into communications and information. Now, what are the components of pretty much communications and information? The protection of information and its, its critical elements include systems and hardware that use, store, and transmit that information that is being used. It also includes information security management, such as uh, including data security, network security, access security, and everything that has an impact on the information itself. What this is saying is, let's take an example of Coke recipe. Coke recipe is pretty much the information, even it's the information that is being used to create the recipe that is being protected, not really the recipe itself. The recipe is always shared with other places, like, um, I mean, you even have the ingredient itself but within the can, but the information of how it is being processed is what is extremely vital to Coke. Now, how is Coca-Cola managing that they must have something that store that information it could be in a safe if it's a physical copy if it's if the information is within a computer then it has to be within an information system that is also a data that needs to be secured is that computer accessible via a network if yes then it needs to be secured now all of those things can only happen if there are management so bringing everything together to ensure that all the layer of everything is secured is what we refer to as management of information security. And to achieve that, we need governance, we need policy, 
and we need to have the security in place or at least the security controls that need to be in place. Governance has to do more with how things, no, how the organization leadership governs the organization. The policies are the instructions of the organization's leadership on how the security controls should be implemented. Now, we have um, what is referred to as the CIA triad, and that is the standards based on confidentiality, integrity, and availability of information itself. The confidentiality of information is making sure that that information stays secret. The integrity of that of information is making sure the information is intact and it not, has not been changed. The availability of the information is making sure the information is available to authorize users whenever needed. We will expand more on confidentiality, integrity, and availability. But as you can see on our chart, we have data and services right at the middle. It indicates that you need to have confidentiality, integrity, and availability in place to ensure that those data and services are secured. Now, there is, within the security community, there is, um, I believe that just confidentiality, integrity, and availability is not enough. So there is a need to kind of expand the uh, critical characteristics of securing information. And as such, there we, uh, we have pretty much the value of information comes from the characteristics processes, such as availability, accuracy, how accurate is the information, which is similar to integrity, the authenticity of the information, the confidentiality of the information, integrity of the information, utility, and possession. At the end of the day, Whoever possesses that information has control over the information. We don't want the information to fall on, uh, to fall into the wrong hands. Some key information security concepts, basically around lexicons, terminologies, phrases, and all of that. A computer network can be a subject of an attack or an object of an attack. When a computer is a subject of an attack, it means the computer uses an, as an active tool to conduct the attack, which means the computer is not the object that is being attacked, the computer is not being attacked, but rather it is being used to implement the attack. When a computer is the object of an attack, it means the computer itself is what is being attacked. And I can um, give you examples with that. A scenario where a computer is the subject of an attack is when you have a laptop and you try to access certain records within uh, that are stored within the computer. The computer is just serving as a tool to access the records. Not, you're not trying to attack the computer itself, but you're trying to attack the data that is stored within the computer. And when a computer is the object of an attack, it means the computer is what is being attacked. Think of DDoS attack. When you hijack a computer such that it is no longer available to anyone. That is the computer as an object of an attack. In addition, we have a lot of concepts, terminologies that we that are being used around the um, security community and security realm to enable understanding between everyone within the security community, basically such that everyone can speak the same language access, asset, attack, and everything. I will highly recommend that you visit ISACA. ISACA is, a, is an organization. Uh, you should access their glossary. It has a comprehensive list of information security phrases and definitions. The ISC2 um, cybersecurity lexicon is also another 
good source of information security definitions and phrases. I would definitely not recommend using a dictionary to define cybersecurity terms. Even though some will be closely aligned, there will be certain differences on how, on what a certain term means within a dictionary in the English language and what it means within uh, as it applies to information security. Let's quickly take a look at the ISACA uh, glossary to see the terms. So yeah, this is the ISACA glossary and um, it's a really great interactive place to study all these terminologies around security and they have quite a lot. Here are the experts, you can go there. You can also go to the C square lexicon Yes. So this is a PDF document with a definition of most of the terms used within cybersecurity and information security. When you, when you get the chance, definitely take a quick look at this. It's really helpful. Components of an information security. So. What makes up information security? There really isn't one set of things that, uh, there really isn't a limited things that make up information system, but rather there are a lot of um, entire processes as well as type of data, people, procedures, networks, things, a lot of things within an organization that comes together to make up information system. Now, it is not possible to obtain perfect information security. It is impossible because there will always be a vulnerability one way or the other, but your ability to protect as much as you can and find a balance between protection and availability or protection and usage is what is required. An example is, one should not put so much security controls in place such that it is no longer accessible for usage, then it becomes unimportant. To achieve balance, the level of security must allow reasonable access yet protect against threats. Additional example as it relates to that is you don't want to just because you want to secure your home doesn't mean you should seal the door completely. No, you should put locks in place that will allow you to unlock, unlock it. But when you seal it completely, it means it is no longer accessible. So how do you get in? Find that balance to understand your needs as well as the controls that should be put in place. It's very, very important. Next, we're going to talk about implementing information security. 